Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Today, today we are going to look at who leaked the Queen's passing plans. That's what we're looking at today. Today was going to be tea and taro. Now, that will be tomorrow. Okay, let that be known. Today, I want to get on top of this juicy goss and to see who leaked this. Let's see if we can navigate the tarot to get a to get somewhat of an idea, perhaps a very good idea. We'll see what happens on who who has done this. So if you have a question for T and Tarot, there is still time to leave it in the comments below. Still time, one more day. Leave it in the comments. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. Let's have a look. Who leaked the plans. Let's ask a broad question and then we can maybe narrow it down. Why did they leak the plans? See, that is that is even a greater question to ask. Why were the plans leaked? In fact, let's ask that question first. Why were the plans leaked? Let's ask that question first before we begin our investigation as to what exactly is going on here what is going on why were these plans leaked to the press why were these plans leaked to the to the press why were they leaked to the press cards are hot all right, let's have a look. See what we can see. The Five of Cups. The Sun. The Four of Cups. The Seven of Wands. And the Magician. Ooh, what, a, what an interesting set of cards. Underlying Energy, the Ace of Wands... Let's throw the lovers in. Let's throw that in. Let's throw in the Queen of Swords. Let's throw it in. It might become interesting later. Hmm. Let's let's stop there. Let's let's stop there with the underlying energies. Okay. So, uh, quite an interesting selection of cards, I have to say. So, what the interesting feature to me of these cards is uh, is the cups energy. The Five and Four of Cups. It, it speaks to motives that, let it be known, the motives here are not financial. One would think maybe it's to do with money. I am seeing the motives here seem to be emotional. It seems to be very emotionally based as to why this has happened. Now, there is this pairing here in terms of these emotions, and I'll get into what those are in just a second, but there seems to be something else that comes with, and that is the seven of wands. So there is this energy of wanting to gain a certain advantage somehow. Very peculiar and very strange energies to have next to these emotional cards. And, and the, the emotions of loss, the emotions of... Uh, disappointment and loss on the card. So sadness, loss, disappointment. How would someone derive an advantage from leaking uh, plans when they feel that way? It Very interesting energy. So I'm not seeing a financial motive on the cards, but I am seeing a motive to gain... So, there is an advantage being gained here, but it's not financial. The sun... The sun to me speaks of these plans becoming public. Seeing the light of day, so to speak. That's what I'm seeing. Now, the magician. The magician... I would ask the question here. When I see this card, the Magician, 
is this a a PR team of some description? Is this someone's PR team? Is this an organization that is attempting to make something look a certain way? I would wonder what's coming in the days and weeks ahead after this. Why Why has this been done is the question, and we're still asking, we haven't really answered the question. It seems that someone is seeking advantage, yes, but it also seems that they have this, there is a, to speak to the psychology of the person, it's someone who is very unhappy with something, and perhaps a little bit bitter as well. So there's some that there is those elements present here. It could it could be now this could be from these cards there could be a, a form of spite here with the seven of wands after these cards. Someone's not happy with maybe how they've been treated or, or their experience or whatever it is. There's there's someone's been burnt here. Potentially, potentially, that's what we're seeing. That it would certainly fit the air of these cards, the flavor of these cards, so to speak. Someone's someone has not had a good time, and they are mm, attempting perhaps to even the playing field, or even you know gain an advantage somehow. The magician, the magician. It's uh, it's an interesting card. Is the leaker, if you like, is it a man? Potentially. Potent yeah, that's hard. And the reason I'm going to... Now, the reason I say it's hard is because the underlying energy, we have the Ace of Wands, so this is intentionally released. Okay. It's intentional. We also have these... These are the other cards of interest here. The Lovers and the Queen of Swords. Very interesting. So, is there a couple at play here. The magician speaks to a man, but the queen of swords and the lovers, is there a pair of people working together? The queen of swords and someone else perhaps working together to, to get this out there. Very, very interesting cards. It might be a teamwork kind of situation that we're looking at is who, who's responsible, but that's, that's an interesting prelude, if you like, to who is doing the leaking? Who is having that conversation? We're gonna we're gonna ask that question, but it's giving us a bit of a hint, I think, here with the lovers. So that's what makes it so interesting. So let that be known. But for now, it seems to me that someone is very unhappy, very disappointed, bitter about their experience, and they're trying to mm, revenge, perhaps, perhaps revenge. But it's. Very, uh, I would wonder who would be the type, of, who who could it possibly be to someone who, you know, for someone who's had, or someone who's having these feelings, who could possibly have these feelings? Well, it's an interesting question. So with that in mind, with this in mind, I thought very interesting to ask this first. Let's ask who has leaked the plans, who leaked them? Let's ask in a broad sense. In a general sense, let's ask the question, who has leaked the passing plans? Who was it? Who has leaked the passing plans? Cards are hot. Who has leaked the plans? 
Knight of Cups. Okay. Hmm. The Nine of Swords. The Three of Swords. Oof. Oof. The Seven of Cups. And here it is again. The Seven of Wands. Very interesting. Very interesting this has come up again. Underlying Energy, the High Priestess. Now, isn't that interesting? If you recall from the first reading, the High Priestess was one of the underlying energies that I did not want to put out. Uh, we already had this indication that there was uh, a female involved or some description. And we've seen the same pattern now. We have a Prince of Cups on the cards and we have a High Priestess as the underlying energy. So there is this same pattern here, if you like, of working together, male and female, the lovers, all of that type of thing. It's resonating again. Interesting. Now, oh boy, I'm going to need to top up my tea for this. This is why I wanted to do this question today. It is so juicy and so interesting. And I'm going to need to mid-air refueling. I absolutely am loving it today. So, this reeks of betrayal, all right, straight into it. Three of swords, this entire uh, situation, the leak, if you like, is a betrayal. So, and it speaks to, with the cups, we have more cups here, the seven of cups and the knight of cups or the prince of cups. It speaks to more than just betrayal we're getting hints here we're getting a, a whiff if you like of it's more deep than just an employee potentially that's i think i'm starting to get a little bit of that indication here with the knight of cups the prince of cups i wonder if this leak has not come from someone with a royal title Let that be known. With the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups. So, our, our suspicions with the Tarot f will fall squarely on, perhaps, dare I say, members of the Royal Family, potentially. Or at least someone with a title. There's at least someone here with a title. And, and this person, as we saw from the previous reading, is... We almost need to get one of those, if you, if you, Team Famous Fortunes, if you ever recall watching X-Files, Fox Mulder, he was a psychological profiler. If you remember that, that's, that's the kind of person we need right now to get in here and break all these clues down to build a profile. But, but let's say I am the profiler, the tarot profiler, the psychic profiler. Can you imagine? All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun today. It's good times. So it looks to me like this person is jaded. This person feels a sense of loss. This person feels a sense of bitterness and resentment. And there even could be elements of uh, revenge. Or, or that type of thing. But this person, this prince, potentially the Knight of Cups. We'll just leave it at that. The Knight of Cups. Maybe the Prince of Cups, potentially, but the Knight of Cups here has committed knowingly with the Nine of Swords because it's it's concerning that person, knowingly committed an act of betrayal here. From these cards, that's what the cards are indicating here. We've asked who is the leaker. It seems to me there's one person on the surface level, but he may be... He, I'm going to say he because that's the indications we're getting he may be responsible alongside a woman here. But the woman is in the background, if you like. The background energy. It's not in the forefront. So I'm going to say it's... We're not talking someone on the level of, you know... Yeah, look, prince, prince, princely title, perhaps, maybe even a lower title or a lower rank, but let's keep this in mind, the Knight of Cups. I would go far as to say it's a member of the family, potentially. 
a member of the family who's done the leaking. They're stressed about it. The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords. It's They know what they've done. It's eating them a little bit. A big bit, really. It's 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 tearing them up inside. There's there's that on the cards. There is this. It's really bugging them what they've done. And it's because of this three of three of swords here. This this betrayal energy. Now, never forget, we saw the seven of wands before, and we're seeing it again. So there is this idea of gaining an advantage. But you can see. We have the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Which is peculiar. Peculiar set of sevens here. Uh, interesting. Two of... And the High Priestess, the two, three of Swords. It is interesting indeed. Now there, so this this idea of seeking advantage, gaining the upper hand is here in this particular reading, but it's not at a, it, it does it, it comes with a cost. In other words, it doesn't come without a price, and that is the nine of swords. It's it's affecting that person, whoever's done it, whoever has done it. I am. A little, <laughs> to be completely upfront, I'm a little bit hesitant to keep digging and ask who this person is because this reading is going. Well, we're not hitting any blockages, put it that way, as to who it could be. And I, d I dare say we keep going, we'll find out who this person is. Uh, but as we've seen in previous episodes, you can be too clever. Let's just say that. <laughs> Yeah, you dig deep enough. But the truth is out there. The truth is out there. So let's let's ask one more question. Let's ask a bonus reading. Is the leaker a member of the royal family? Is the leaker a member of the royal family? Let me ask it another way. Has the leaker been a member of the royal family or is a member of the royal family? Has had a title or has a title? So this is to do with any changes that may have happened. I just want to throw the net towards members of the royal family, past and present. Okay. So just to get that technicality out of the way. Is this person a member of the royal family? All right, cards are hot. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. We have the Hanged Man. Well, 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 well. <laughs> the King of Wands. The Page of Wands. The Six of Cups. The High Priestess. Look, here it is again. Here it is again. And the underlying energy, are you ready for this? The Fool. The Fool. Wow, so the Hanged Man perhaps speaks to the Hmm. 
The hangman traditionally is thought of as a card of... It, it's, it ties in to the, the betrayal energy of the Three of Swords. It's a card of ultimate betrayal, if you like, traitor, those type of things. Traditionally, that's what it's thought of. Now, I'm not saying that applies in this particular reading. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But that's a traditional uh, understanding of this card. Interesting, the King of Wands is looking straight at him. Interesting in that. Team Famous Fortunes, you'll recall the King of Wands represents a certain member of the royal family. Now, I'm not saying the King of Wands is responsible here, but I think he's looking straight at this uh, hanged man fellow. Straight at him. I think a lot of this reading for, for, for the regulars of Team Famous Fortunes, Famous Fortunes viewers, is a lot of this particular spread is going to be quite... Uh, my explanations are going to be quite redundant because I think we all know who it is. <laughs> but I'm just not going to say it. I'm just not going to say it. That's, that's, what, that's how we're going to approach this. Oh, boy. The Page of Wands. The Page of Wands underlying energy, the Fool. The Fool. Someone that was... See, there's there's this idea of a relationship, or they were... You look here with the Six of Cups, they were... You know, look at this card. There were children together, you know, they, there's a nostalgia there. There was this history, this relationship. There's this whole thing. And and now we have a high priestess on the cards. So here she is again. Here she is again. Perhaps the high priestess having a part to play, perhaps, in, in, on the cards. I think it's almost certain the high priestess has a role to play here. Yes, we are speaking in tarot terms, and that is the only way we're going to do this. But I think at the end of the day... At the end of the day, I think the tarot, at least, the tarot has spoken. 